How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Now I got a bit of an issue where I have a two by eight floor joist called out an inspection where they see this notch. The notch is about five inches by give or take three inches. And what that does is it takes the ability of this floor joist to actually hold tension at the bottom. And that's what was called out in the homeowner's inspection is, hey, the structure of this joist is no longer valid. So the question is, how the heck do we fix this without investing a lot of time or money? We cannot sister a new two by eight to the side to give a structure because we need to keep this opening open. I have a drain line, PEX lines, and all sorts of stuff going on in this area, but I need to get back the capability of this joist to carry tension at the bottom. Well, there's a perfect product that I found for that. And let me show you how I'm gonna install it and fix my issue right here. So I didn't even know this product existed until a few days ago, I found it online. What it is, is it's a strap with an inch and a half wide to match the width of our two by, and it has a ton of holes in each side that has been tested and proven to be able to bring back the structure and even more than the original two by eight. It's got custom hardware here. It brings a T25 bit so we can drive those home. And don't forget, we actually have to drive pilot holes. That is a heck of a lot of hardware going in to an inch and a half width. So you wanna make sure that you drill your pilot holes out so you're not splitting that two by, which will then nullify the actual structure that we're bringing in with this strap. So make sure you're drilling your pilot holes and let's go ahead and show you what this would fit, what size of notch, and also what alternative you might have if you have a larger notch. So first up, you wanna measure the width of your notch. Here, I have a five inch wide notch and the smaller of the two straps. So this is a 24 inch wide strap that can go up to six inches wide, just as long as you have at least two inches on the top side of your notch and I have about four inches so that's going to be plenty. If you're above six inches I think to a maximum of 12 inches wide you can use their larger strap and you'll see the links in the description down below the video or you can just scan this QR code if you're watching on your TV and it'll give you the exact specs of these products and where to get them. So we'll just go ahead and center up this strap start sinking our pilot holes and getting our fasteners in place and that's it. Once we have this secured now that item off the inspection is solved. So start to finish this took about 15 minutes and it is rock solid with no splits in the wood. Super happy with this product and it's not often as DIY homeowners where we can find a product that is faster and cheaper than what we were expected. Some contractors, especially if you're gonna do multiple joists, would charge you thousands or thousands of dollars to get that repair and they might not actually even know about this product. Now, if you have an application, maybe in a basement, you need a drywall, there's a lot of other options at joystrepair.com. So you'll see that link in the description or this QR code. It'll get you over there and you can look at the different varieties they have. They also have side plates, which are more common. And this is gonna go up actually into your floor joist and it's gonna keep that bottom surface clear. And then there's additional strapping at the top to give you that structure. So even if you have large holes that have now compromised the structure of your floor joist, these plates can get you back to actually above what the original floor joist was providing. Now, if you wanna check out another massive repair I had in one of my basements where I had a water leak and drywall damage, copper pipes, and a ton of issues, but we got it fixed as a DIY project saving a ton of money. Check out this video right here. I'll walk you through the complete example and how I actually fixed that problem and got it back to new. So thanks for joining me in this video and I'll catch you on that next one. Take care.